Yo, my people, them CFC release blue back with another video and this match review settings for the Chelsea versus Panathinaikos game, which we won 4 1 on the night. Our second game in the Conference League league phase, and yeah, man, easy as you like. Man like Nkunku, man like Joao Felix, and Mikhailo Mudrical all on the score sheet. Big up every single last one of you, and big up every single last one of you who joined me in the watch along. More than a thousand views. I appreciate a lot. You guys' support is immense. So I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. And help me get at least a thousand views on this video. But hey man. Let's start off with the team news. Philip Jorgensen was in goal. Right back was De Sassi. Centre backs was Tossin. As well as as well as um, Renato Vega, left-back Cucurello, CDM was Ken and Drewsby Hall, Enzo Fernandez on the left, was Mikhailo Mudrik on the right, Pedro Neto, Cam, Joao Felix, Stryker and Kunku. And I was surprised to see the defence the way it was. I wasn't expecting Cucurello to start. I wasn't expecting him to start, but it was calm. And if I'm going to be honest, in this whole entire game, we were just calm. Yes, we did concede a goal, and it is disappointing, but I understand where this team is. Defensively, we are going to concede goals. We are we literally had our worst defensive period last season, and now it's just not it's not gone up a notch at all like that. So I'm not necessarily surprised away from home. It's more likely that we can keep a clean sheet at home, but even that's not 100% likely. But it was still a calm game. Can't really say anyone had a bad performance. Badia Shaw done calm. De Sassi did calm, even though he got booked. Ronaldo Vega, Kukurel, you guys did well. The whole team did well. And that's mainly because, what's their names? Panathinaikos didn't really do too much to hurt us. We was calm majority of the time. Yeah, they did score their goal, but they took their chance. Something that we did today, we took most of our chances. We had nine shots all game. And we scored four of them. That is very good. So I am happy to know that we took our chances. And guys like Mikhailo Mudrik and Joao Felix, in my match preview, I said, would they take their chance? They need to. And they've made the most of their chances today. Mudrik with two assists and a goal. Joao Felix with two goals. You done well, man. You done well. Away from home, big you lot up. I don't think it's going to be something that can put you in the start 11 for our next game against Newcastle, but these are just good things. Stat padding in the Conference League is calm. And I can't even say stat padding because Joao Felix's second goal, it wasn't it like, it was decent play, but he took a deflection. The first goal was very good. Enzo Fernandez passes it. Joao Felix flicks it off his head, goes to Modric. He gets into the box, cuts inside, lays it off for Joao. Easy finish calm and then even Mikhailo Mudrik score good play Pedro Neto goes over to the right hand side it goes over to him pushes it in the box good cross Mikhailo Mudrik in the right space right time it goes over the keeper he heads it into an empty goal basically easy as you like and that is how we got our second goal and our third goal so for me and our first goal as well so that's just calm Christopher Nkunku, he was quiet for the majority of the game, but he did get a penalty and did get a goal. He is Chelsea's top goal scorer this season. So big him up as well and just big up the team because in this conference league, we should be winning these games. We should be winning them comfortably. Going in at the end of the first half, I wasn't thinking that, oh yeah, we're going to blow these guys out. No, did he? But... The second half was immense. And I have to big up Enzo Maresco. Enzo Maresco, how many times this season have we said, Chelsea, we are just switched on, especially at the start of the second half. Again, in the second half, didn't take us even five minutes to get another goal. This is immense. And what I love as well is that this is a new 11, basically, from the weekend. And if we're going to be honest, it is a new 11 because Kukure didn't even play or start on the weekend. 
So this was basically a brand new 11 from the weekend's game. And we are still switched on. We are still hungry at the start of the second half. That is what coaches coach into players. And I'm loving it. Enzo Marasco is doing his due diligence to make sure these guys are switched on. Look at the way Mudrick was playing. He was taking on his guys. He was moving a lot more effectively. Joel Fierce went to try to get into the game. And just overall, we just played well. Enzo Fernandez had a calm game. Can't really say anyone really had a bad game because Panathinaikos, like I said, haven't really done too much to disturb us. We didn't even go into our third or fourth gear. Like it was gear with two most of the time. We were just hella clinical today. Something that it just excites me because with a whole new attack, we can still create chances, we can still score goals. That just goes to show how strong our attack is. If we can get our attack... I mean, if we can get our defence to be just as strong as our attack, it is going to be long. I don't think it's going to be happening within the next couple of months, but hopefully by the end of the season, our defence just goes up another gear. Because our attack, we have so many great attackers. And even when we've brought on guys like Tyreek George, Mark Gu, like these guys, Tyreek George especially, had a good cameo appearance when he came on. So I have to big him up as well. And it's just immense because our attack is immense, especially in the Conference League. We don't even have Cole Palmer like in this attack in the Conference League. So for me, I'm just happy we're doing what we're meant to be doing. 4-1 on the night. We are top of the Conference League group. Everything's going in the right direction and we finally have our first win in our last three games. With Newcastle and then Newcastle again, then Man United... And then another conference league game before the Arsenal game. These are important games. And these are games that we must win. If we can win all of those games, it will be immense. Not only will we move up in the table, we'll be going through higher to like the Carabao Cup quarterfinals as well. So I am hoping that for the next week, two weeks, we are on job. Big up the Mandem for doing their thing today. Big up Enzo Moresco. 4-1 comfortable. My score prediction was just one off. It's jarring, but we take it nonetheless. Big up the mandem and thank you all again for your support on the watch along. I will be doing player ratings tomorrow. I will be going. I will be doing another news update as well tomorrow. So stay tuned for a double upload. Then on Saturday going to be doing another update as well as match preview maybe at the late night 12 o'clock and then Sunday match review as well as watch along for the Newcastle game so you guys stay tuned for the content thank you all again hope you've enjoyed the content for today and yeah man you guys have a good evening I'll catch you in a bit follow me on Instagram Twitter TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CF Series Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea. Come on Chelsea.